Ladies and gentlemen, things have officially got interesting because just like at the end of season one for Black Ops Cold War, with the end of season two, we got a new kind of, I guess you could say, trailer for Black Ops Cold War. And in this, it finally wraps together the rest of the scene where Adler has been captured, taken to Laos. We heard that he is now being taken to Verdansk, but we found out a little bit more. And in fact, throughout this trailer, there's quite a few details that I think many people may have missed or got wrong. And I wanted to address all of those in this video because... There is one thing, one thing in this trailer alone that completely changes what is going to happen for the rest of the Black Ops Cold War story. And nobody has talked about it yet, at least until this video. After the video, I'm sure there's going to be some people talking about it. But it's big. But to hopefully understand this, you first have to see the trailer and then we are going to break it down. So here it is. It's been weeks. What's the sit rep? <sighs> uh, rescue mission was a cluster. We got skunked hard. Adler had been there. Sons of bitches worked him real good. The Nova 6 threat? Man, it was BS. A distraction to draw him, us, in. We chased every lead. Showed them the same courtesy they showed Adler. Intel points to Verdansk. Pack your bags. Bring our boy home. So to fully understand this story that we're talking about, you first have to start with how we got here. So this story, this entire thing that has been going on throughout the season, actually started at the end of Black Ops 1. At the end of Black Ops 1, the CIA ends up raiding Rebirth Island, and at the time, you play as both Hudson and Mason as you go to this island. And at this time, this is where they were making Nova 6 gas, and the people in charge of it were, of course, Dr. Frederick Steiner, but also importantly, you didn't see him in the game, but Stitch. Later, as we find out at this time, Adler was also at Rebirth Island and he was the one to take Stitch captive. And as we found out, he wanted to get vengeance for Krevchenko attacking Weaver. So he did the exact same thing. Stab Stitch in the eye and Stitch ends up going away to prison to eventually be saved by Perseus. And at this time, Stitch puts together a plan to get back at Adler. And what he does is seemingly creates Nova 6 gas and tells them that he is going to be detonating it at a mall. In doing so, Adler and some other crew go to the mall and he ends up getting captured and taken to Laos. Now, there is a little bit more to that cutscene that we couldn't cover at the time because we didn't know about it, but we'll get there in a minute. After this, Woods and some other crew go to save Adler in Laos, and as we find out, Adler is not in Laos, he has been taken to Verdansk. That is where this cutscene picks up. So this cutscene starts off with a briefing from Hudson talking to the crew that went to Laos. And at this time, Wolf is actually the one to speak up and give us a little backstory as to what happened in Laos. Adler had been there. Sons of bitches worked him real good. The Nova 6 threat? Man, it was BS. A distraction to draw him, us, in. So just from that alone, there are two big takeaways. First of all, the fact that the Nova 6 threat wasn't actually real. What this means is when we saw that original cutscene in the mall, those barrels weren't actually full of Nova 6 gas. They were completely faking it to draw, as Wolf says, him, no, us in, which is the second point that I want to hammer home, is that when Wolf says this, immediately it gave me the idea of, well, first of all, we know that Stitch wanted to get back at Adler, but it almost seems as though Wolf has a part to play in this as well. So with the fact that it seems like Wolf has more in play with this whole Stitch dilemma, I had to look deeper at Wolf, and looking at his bio, we can see that he was born in 1957, which makes him too young to be a part of the Rebirth Island raid. But upon looking at his description or his background, you can see that he entered service on his 18th birthday in memory of his fallen brother, which tells us that his brother was also in the military. Now, his brother could have a part to play in the whole Stitch story, but... It's a bit of a stretch, but it's the only tie-in that I can personally see. So the other part of that section that we just watched, and if you didn't see it, it is the most important part, is that they put a needle into Adler's neck. Specifically, it's one of Naga's men who gives the needle, and you can see Naga in the background. 
And with this, we see Adler sitting in the exact same chair that Mason sat in in Black Ops 1. Now, it's important to note that Mason was never brainwashed in that chair. He was in Verkuda. However, we associate the brainwashing with that chair because of the game Black Ops 1. And with this, I think it's pretty safe to assume that Adler has now been brainwashed. Now, to what capacity, that's kind of the big question at this point. We know it could be something like Black Ops Cold War, where it's implanting memories in his head to make him turn into a rival agent, all of a sudden making Adler work for Perseus. Or it could be a situation like Black Ops 1, where they're putting something inside of his head, like codes, to then make him be a sleeper agent. Kind of like we saw with Mason in Black Ops 1. We don't know as of yet. But I think that's probably going to be one of the next things that we start to find out. Now, to address the two rumors that I've seen with the rest of this trailer. We chased every lead. Showed them the same courtesy they showed Abby. Intel points to Verdansk. All right, stop it right there. Okay, first things first this map so as you can clearly tell this is Verdansk Now, what I've seen a lot online is people saying that this is the new Verdansk unfortunately this is the same map that we currently have in Warzone I dove deep in Photoshop trying to figure out what these different buildings are and they are the exact same buildings that are currently on the map so either this is the new map and they are not changing anything or this is not the new map and we can't get anything out of it and I think that's definitely the more real option that being said, though, it makes no sense that they have a map of Verdansk in 2020 uh, when they are currently in the year 1984 in game. Just a little bit of a mistake, if you ask me. Oh, and before you say, oh, well, there's no prison on this map, if you take a closer look, it's actually zoomed in a little bit. So that part is actually cut off at the bottom. Now, moving on. Pack your bags. Bring our boy home. So very clearly in season three, we are going to Verdansk, which tells me we might actually have a couple of maps coming to Black Ops Cold War that are going to be locations in Verdansk. One of the leaked locations is Summit, so I think that makes a lot of sense. The other rumor is that Hudson is going to be the title character for season three. And I hate to be the guy that reigns on the parade, but I don't think that's the case for a very simple reason. Hudson's one of the broadcast voices in multiplayer. He's one of the guys that, for example, announces enemy is taking B. It wouldn't really make any sense if he was the broadcaster and also the character in game. Maybe I'm just looking too far into that, but I doubt it. Also, there hasn't been a single character to return from the single player. And if there was one character they were going to do it first with, my guess would be Mason. But... Obviously, that hasn't happened. So again, all speculation. I'm just trying to use my better judgment. So as far as the rest of the story of this trailer goes, there isn't too much else. As you can see, they interrogate another bad guy. A lot of people are saying that this bad guy is stone, but no, it's just one of the bad guy masks that you see everyone wearing in the campaign. Don't overthink it. So they interrogate this guy. They get information out of him. They kill him. And now they are off to Verdansk. So that's what we should be seeing next is where they are going in Verdansk and how that story is going to tie together with the Warzone story. Because as we know, the rumor as of right now is we are getting a 1980s map at the beginning of season three for Verdansk which is directly going to tie in with the exact time that Adler is going to Verdansk. So as you can very clearly see, there is going to be a big crossover with that storyline. And that's what I would expect to see out of the trailer for season three, which should be coming this weekend, early next week, sometime around then. And when we get that, of course, I'll break it down, keep you guys up to date on the story. But for now, this is all we have. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If we did, please hit that like button, new to the channel, subscribe, all of that good jazz. We got a crazy amount of content coming with season three right around the corner. So make sure you stay up to date. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars.